I just have a thing for some cowboy dudes. Like, I don't even know why, how, but I do. Like, I don't know if it's like so much like, I don't know if it was the Hannah Montana movie when I was younger or something, but there's just something about the idea of a man in some like tight jeans and some cowboy boots and like a cowboy hat and like just like working on the farm. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just here and I'm just gonna throw on some makeup. Let's have a chat. I haven't posted in a little bit. So I really wanted to sit here and just talk to you guys. And yeah, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's just like weird thing right here, but I don't know. So I'm actually gonna jump in and start doing my makeup and then we're just gonna like, you know, talk whatever um so yeah what have you guys been up to how's it going how's it been um i know that things are still a little kind of wobbly with covid out there like the numbers keep going up and up and up and up and up and it is super scary because especially for me like i have like i have really bad asthma and so that makes me like immunocompromised and stuff like that and then more so like my mom she recently not recently like two years ago she had heart surgery but that's because she had a hole in her heart or one of her heart valves actually and um so that makes her again immunocompromised like very susceptible to that virus kind of like hitting her heart so it's really really nerve-wracking to um to think about that being said we did just come back from vacation me my mom my sisters and my cousin jasmine we actually went to missouri 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 i don't know how y'all say it out there but we went to branson missouri we drove it was eight hours but with all the stops and stuff like that it was more like nine and the drive over there wasn't too bad like i um it wasn't too bad of um trees and forests and like um like mountain there were some mountains and stuff like that like driving over there so it was just it was such a beautiful experience um i never been to missouri i've been to, well i guess i've been to st louis multiple times but never been to like south missouri southwest missouri which was branson and i was okay like this may sound problematic af but I, um, hold on, pause. I'm actually dipping into one of my OG favorites. Look at this shit. I need a new Modern Renaissance palette. I went through this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eyeshadows that I hit, I hit pan on, and I love this. I'm actually gonna go into here, burnt orange. Okay, so anyways, um, like I said before, uh, oh, I was actually really nervous to go to Missouri because like I was telling my therapist, yes, I go to therapy. It's very, very helpful. I think everybody should be in therapy. Um, like I was, there, that's better. Like I was telling my therapist, like I was super nervous because Missouri is a red state. Like I don't think it gets redder than Missouri, <laughs> but um, so I was like, okay, if I encounter some racists out there, like we're gonna get down, I don't care. I'm not gonna stay quiet, like, Ain't nobody gonna be racist towards me but branson number one was like pretty empty like the shops were open but they didn't open until about like noon or like 11 and then um the people there like some of the people that actually worked in branson weren't from missouri like some of them were from like louisiana some of them were from like um other parts of missouri but not from branson itself there was this amish store and this guy he sold like amish um like food and things that they made out of like genuine leather and stuff like that and some of the things were so beautiful and he bought actually it was a lot of the a lot of the food stuff so there was like um apple butter pumpkin butter they had stuff like um all different kinds of jams different types of um different types of like uh um candies and clusters and brittle and from one of the antique stores and then i found 
that I get? Oh, I found actually, which I haven't used them yet because I need to get them cleaned, but I actually found this tarot deck, which I thought was so cool. This is kind of the typical size of tarot cards, and this is literally like half the size of a typical tarot card. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. My mom bought them for me actually, because you know, you're not supposed to buy yourself tarot cards, they're supposed to be like a gift thing. So Oh, it did come with a little booklet. How cute. Okay, so like, this is the way the tarot cards look. So like, the chariot, two, three of cups, the world, um, the wheel of fortune. So most, if, most of you guys don't know this, but I do, um, I have been practicing tarot for about a year now. And it's something that I know I'm not like, I think I'm really, I'm pretty good at it actually. Um, now I'm actually dipping into the Jackson Hill palette, number one, volume one. Um, but yeah, so that was those kind of shots. There was also like kind of an authentic like candy store shop. And then there was, what else was in there? Oh my God, there was this place called Oscars in Branson. It was like some of the best barbecue I've ever had. It was a lot of fun. It was so, so, so much fun. There was no cute guys though. Like, there was no cute guys. And I'm, I like barely saw any men out there. I'm not even bullshitting. Like, there was not really a lot of men out there. And so I'm thinking like, you know, go out there, give me a little cowboy boo for the week. You know what I mean? Like, I have, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm from Chicago, you know, like northern, like North, North America, like the North, you know what I'm trying to mean. I'm from the North of America. And like, um, <laughs> I always am talking shit about kind of not talking shit about the South, but like, you know, the stereotypes of the South were like Southern, Southern people are racist and like, or, you know, they're Trump supporters, X, Y, and Z. Um, and I've had experiences in the South to warrant that kind of uh, stereotypes. But anyways, um, but I have such a weakness or like, um, I don't want to say fetish. I just have a thing for some cowboy dudes. Like, I don't even know why, how, but I do. Like, I don't know if it's like so much like, I don't know if it was the Hannah Montana movie when I was younger. Or something but there's just something about the idea of a man in some like tight jeans and some cowboy boots and like a cowboy hat and like just like working on the farm <laughs> riding a horse like <laughs> I literally sound ridiculous right now but there's just like something about that that's like so sexy to me like and he's like howdy oh my god i bought a fucking cowgirl hat oh i have no idea where it is actually i know it's somewhere around here but i totally fucking forgot i even bought that maybe it'll be like kind of at the end of my video like i'll go get it but yeah like just picturing like a cowboy kind of guy on some like howdy little lady like shit it like <laughs> it's so appealing to me I have no idea so like every time I go to the south like I've been to Louisiana I've been to Georgia I've been to Virginia I've been to um, now Missouri every single time I go to like kind of like the south south of America like I south of the US I should say um, that's just like my fantasy like I'm just gonna a cowboy is just gonna ride up to me and be like hey like you're a city girl I'm a country boy type of shit <laughs> I know that sounds fucking ridiculous, but like, I don't know. So even though I'm like, I feel like completely the opposite. Like, I don't think, like, obviously I'm a city girl, but I don't know. I just like the idea of like sitting on a beach in Savannah or like, I like the kind of like romantic aspect of, of like the country. Like maybe it's like gone with the wind type of shit, you know? But um, I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but I'm a very much a city girl. I was born and raised in Chicago. like. So the idea but it's so funny to me that the idea of like a cowboy is so hot like without a shirt chopping wood all right all right let's move let's move forward but um 
but there was no fucking cowboys in Missouri. Like, there was barely people. Like, literally, there was barely any people in Missouri. Like, the people, the few people that we did interact with from the place was, they were really nice, actually. Like, the southern, southern hospitality is, like, such a real thing. Everybody was super, super nice, or they weren't mean. That, um, what else? There was just a lot of white people. There were no... I didn't, I don't think I saw one black person in Missouri. Now that I'm thinking about it. Obviously I didn't see the whole state, but in the city that I was in, like, I don't think I saw one black person. We just stood away from like the typical things. Like we didn't go to like a foot locker or we didn't go to like, you know, just the typical stores that you will find in Chicago because we wanted really like, the authentic like my sister and i when we travel together we typically do that like we'll go to like more of the local areas and stuff like that because we like to see the more like authentic city you know every city has like the tourist parts and then they and then there's the other side where it's like the true like city you know like same in chicago so so next i'm actually so my birthday's coming up my birthday's on september 13th and i'm actually um planning a trip with my friend so this was kind of like my family trip and not for my birthday this was just a family trip period uh, but my friend and I are planning to go to Colorado for September September 14th to the 18th and we're trying to go to Colorado Springs um, which is you know hella ritzy and I'd be broke as hell but um, we're still trying to go and I'm down like I really really want to go I've never been to Colorado Springs I've never been to Colorado or that kind of area like I've been to Arizona which is not too far from Colorado I think geography geography yeah no I think it's in that kind of same general direction and um yeah so like I went to uh, Arizona, which I loved Arizona. I love the dry heat. Overall, I'm really excited to go to Colorado with some of my friends and just like, I really want a zip line. I really want a zip line. I don't know if I can zip line um, because I'd be fat and I don't know if that has like a weight requirement or anything like that. I mean, I think, I don't think I would actually exceed the weight requirement, but you know, real fear genuine fear it's like it'll be like at six flags all over again where they they can't like lock the thing and you're like you have to be escorted off and because you're fat everybody knows why you're being escorted off so yeah fat girl problems fat girl problems um but if not like i really just want to like see caves and shit and like smoke some weed legal weed and yeah so if you've been to colorado springs or missouri please tell me your experiences in the comments below all right i've been working on this eye for fucking ever let me move on let me move forward okay so for my foundation i'm actually gonna go into um this foundation palette from mac and this is a freelancer's dream i would say because it is a full coverage um full coverage foundation but ooh, that's a little dark but you can definitely sure this out and it is such a beautiful foundation this is the mac full coverage foundation and um yeah it has a beautiful coverage it looks like skin this is like a perfect perfect bridal foundation covers everything but it doesn't look kicky um next something that i've been doing recently um is i've been using foundation as concealer because my under eyes crease like a mofo so i've been using that doing that because i saw somebody i forget who it was um do that and use the foundation under their eyes because they have such a problem with creasing like I do and so that's something that I wanted to try so I'm gonna go into that foundation palette from MAC and like pop that under my eye I'm gonna drag it this way to kind of cut that
Um, but yeah, like life doesn't stop for anybody on some head ass like perks of being a wallflower shit. So yes, I am going to I got this little Fenty powder in my proper shade, and this is in the shade Banana. This actually might be a little too light, but I actually really like the shade because I like my under eyes to be extra bright. Yes, this works. I actually really like this powder. I really like this powder. It is a little matte, but honestly, it's so good. It blurs and it doesn't make my under eye look all crazy. So I'm gonna pop off my uh pop off and I'm gonna do my eyebrows and pop on some lashes. Alright, so I went ahead and put lashes on. I put some liner, some mascara at the bottom, and then my brows. So I kind of finished up my eyes because I feel like all the talking I was uh babysitting my brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some bronzer and this is the Anastasia bronzer in saddle. Um I love these bronzers i just never really use this one because it was a little too dark for me um but now that i have a tan um or more of a tan than like you know i can use it now you know what i mean you know what i mean so i'm just gonna pop on some of that i'm gonna use my favorite brush to pop on some bronzer i really like my clean face right now so i'm not gonna add much but just enough you know Then I'm gonna lightly apply some highlight. This is the highlight from is this Milani, I think, or what in Milani in Sunlight. And I'm gonna take this first two right here and just. I'm gonna pop on this lip liner by LA Colors in the color Natural like a, a warm kind of pinky color you don't jump to put jeans on baby you don't know my pain and then the fenty lip gloss and sweet mouth i always think about the part in uh zombie land part one where he um where um tallahassee he, he uh kills the zombie and he's like you got a pretty mouth all right see the yellow okay I'm setting spray all right and that is all thank you guys so much for sitting here and chatting with me um i yeah i like to do these kind of videos um yeah and I'll see you next time. I, I really do want to vlog my uh, Colorado trip. I just, I don't know how to vlog. Yeah, I mean, I like, honestly, I don't know how to vlog. Like, I don't even know what that means. I don't watch a lot of vlogs. Um, do I just like film random shit and then put it in a video? Like, I'm gonna do something though. I'm gonna do something. Um, oh, I got this chain in Missouri, 14 karat gold cute right all right well please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one bye <laughs>